walking across the ice. Yeah, so we got yeah, say you, the ice. No, Papa and Daddy, there's a huge block in ice. So, so what was and, the big block? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're still talking about ice and ice and what's that? Snow. <laughs> Salt and snow. Okay, there is an impending ski trip this weekend. Hopefully, the weather cooperates and everybody cooperates so we can enjoy some snow. Okay, but today is Monday, February 26th. 2018 these are very significant days in the history of the Philippines some 30 something years ago uh, yeah yeah you know that's, that's that's what happened okay these days February 25 26 were the days of people power in the Philippines. Anyway, <clears throat> let's pray for the Philippines today as uh, they commemorate people power revolution that ousted uh, Marcos. But let us pray for them because they are having other kinds of troubles today <laughs> that are not really uh, very favorable in many ways. Anyway, the Gospel for today is from St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 36 to 38. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will, in return, be measured out to you. Very beautiful, beautiful words of Jesus here that uh, should really give us pause and should really make us think about how we deal with each other and how we deal with God. Okay, now here's, here's a question. Is it easy to love God or is it difficult to love God? Huh? Is it easy or difficult to love God? In the middle, <laughs> it, it is both easy and or, difficult. Or, what is it easy or is it difficult to love God? Okay, why don't we difficult. reverse? Why, why don't we change the question? Is it easy or difficult to love your neighbor, to love your brothers and sisters? Easy. <laughs> some say easy, some say difficult. <laughs> So why is it easy, Sophia, to love your brothers and sisters? Because you know them and you can see Because them. you know them, you can see them, okay? Why is it difficult, Joe? Because sometimes they get annoying. <laughs> because sometimes they get annoying. Okay. But, uh, so what about God? Is it easy or is it difficult to love God? Huh, what? Well, John is saying it's yeah. Is that a difficult question to answer? <clears throat> okay, let me supply the answer then. Let me give you the answer. Huh? It is easy. It is actually easy to love God. Why? Why? Because God is all good. God is goodness himself. So God is very desirable. God is a very desirable object of love. Okay? 
not a thing. I don't mean object as a thing, but mean, means the, the, the direction, the, <coughs> the, uh, the purpose of our love. Right? God is all good. So who does not want the good? Anybody here? Who does not want to, to, to have what is good? We all do, right? We all do. So if God is all good, the epitome of good, the highest of good, the good of all goods, who wouldn't love God? It's, it's almost uh, uh, impossible not to love God, right? Because He is all good. But I agree with you that sometimes it can be difficult to love God. Why is it difficult to love God? Unlike your brothers and sisters when you said sometimes they can be annoying. Well, I don't think God will be ever annoying. Right? So that, in that case, that, that cannot be the reason why it would be difficult to love God. But why is it sometimes difficult to love God? Because, Mia? We're selfish. Right? Because we are selfish. Because we are not generous with God. Because loving, loving means giving. Right? Loving means giving. <coughs> giving what you have and giving of yourself to another. Loving does not mean just enjoying the good things that the other person has and the other person gives to you. That is not loving. If that is all that you want, then you are actually just loving yourself. <coughs> right? You are loving yourself more than loving the other person. Because to love means to desire the good of the other person. To desire the good of the other. But when we are not generous, when we don't know how to love, when we are selfish, we are only loving ourselves. So, God is all good. That is why it's easy to love Him. And it is also difficult to love Him if we are not generous towards God. So really, the thing we have to be careful about is our lack of generosity, our, our selfishness. And you see that in this gospel, our Lord talks about the different ways by which we can be selfish. And we cannot, and, and we, we withdraw that love from others. Number one, he says, mercy. Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. If we do not extend mercy to others, we will not get mercy ourselves. Okay? If we do not stop judging others and thinking badly about others, well, we will also be judged. In the same way we judge others, we will also be judged. If we condemn other people, we will also be condemned. So the way we treat others is the way we will be treated in the end. We bring upon ourselves the bad things that we do to others. That is why in the Our Father, we pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So first we have to forgive others. Then we will merit the forgiveness of God the Father. Then the golden rule also says, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. And the opposite is also true. Don't do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. Okay? Because whatever you do to the least of my brethren, you do it to me. So if we are not merciful to others, we are not extending mercy to Jesus. Not like not that he needs mercy, but you know we do things to Jesus when we do things to others. Same thing with condemning. Same thing with judging. Will you judge Jesus? Will you be condemning Jesus? Of course not. Right? So, generosity is the way of love. And God, God is, cannot be outdone in generosity. 
God is most generous to those who are generous themselves to God. Okay? So, and, and God tells us here, give and gifts will be given to you. Give and, and, and I will give you what you need. Okay? And I will give it to you in good measure, packed together. Eh? shaken down there's no there's no space it's going to be really really full and packed and overflowing the overflowing so you have the image of a, of a container right where you're packing it down with with some stuff in it that there's no space in there no air it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's really really all packed there's no vacuum okay and not only that it even overflows okay so that is the kind of generosity God is going to have towards us if we are generous towards others and if we're generous towards God. Now, we have this kind of experience in our own lives as, as you have always heard from mommy and, 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 and I tell you, right? Um, we we are enjoying plenty of benefits we are uh overwhelmed with the kinds of graces that god has sent us in our lives thus far and looking back there is really no reason why we deserve all of these things but the only the only uh um the only reason i think we have all of this that we have now materially and spiritually and emotionally and otherwise is because we have tried. We have tried. We have really tried our best to be generous with God. Okay? We have not held back and we try still up to now never to hold back anything from God. We give whatever we're asked. We give according to the demands of our vocation. We give as much as we can in terms of um, the very little things of everyday life that where we, where we uh, sense that God is demanding something from us. God will reward our fidelity to Him. God will reward our fidelity with with overwhelming generosity. With overwhelming generosity. So I guess the lesson we have to learn uh, from this gospel is, let us never withhold anything from God. Don't ever give a second thought about withholding anything from God. Give to God what He demands from you each and every day. In the little things of everyday life. It doesn't even have to be in big things all the time. Okay? The little things of everyday life. God is asking you to just study better today. Just concentrate better in your schoolwork. Just do your chores extra well today. And offer it up to God. Just pray better today. Just offer up that little thing that you, have, you like so much. Or that other thing that you're annoyed by. Serve your brothers and sisters just a little bit better today. Okay? The little things. Keep order a little bit better today. Go beyond the normal demands. The normal easy going ways of your everyday life. Give a little bit better of yourself to God. And God is going to reward you abundantly abundantly and he promised it right here in this gospel the kind of reward that he gives to people who give okay? give and gifts will be given to you number one would be the gift of grace in your souls that's the most important gift that god gives us the gift of grace in our souls but we will not merit any of those and any of these things that we have, if we are not generous, if we are selfish with the little things that God asks of us every day, guess what? Well, 
God is also not going to be generous with us. Okay? So <clears throat> let us remember, let us remember these, uh, the, this gospel today and keep in mind that virtue of generosity. Okay? Remember that the biggest reward is waiting for us in heaven. Okay? That is the biggest reward. But many times, <clears throat> many times, we don't even have to wait for heaven. We are already experiencing here on earth many of the kinds of rewards and gifts that God is giving us. Not only to facilitate life, but also to help us love Him more and love Him better. See? The grace in our souls to help us love Him better. So let us remember to be very generous, especially generous in the little things. Because we cannot be generous in the big things if we are not generous in the little things. Okay, that is it for us today, folks. We're a little late. <laughs> we are always over time. Okay, have a good day, everybody. See you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye. Bye. Have a good week ahead of you. Bye.